seven days since we played last. I, th I thought our kids came out with some energy. But you know, there's a big difference in playing hard versus competing. I didn't think we started really competing until um, um, I got Corey, Corey and um, Fabian in there. They, they really raised our energy level. But, um, you know, we threw some zone out there for the first time this year. When you have eight new players, it's not like you can be good at four or five different things. So I um, thought we did a good job the first half of keeping them off the foul line. That's what killed us in, um, in Virginia. You know, Drexel went to the foul line 35 times, and I think they made 30 of them, whereas we went to the foul line 23 times and made 11. That's not a fair fight. Um, but overall, uh, you know, we're moving forward. You know, I thought we were, uh, got a little bit better um, in certain areas, but, you know, you can see where De Fabian's going to be a good player. I mean, the kid's a freshman. Uh, it's good to see Armani Brookstep come back tonight and play well. I thought Gabe Grant uh, had some nice moments. Um, first half, I, I, uh, I thought Rob was performing. Um, I didn't know what time the uh, show started. Um, I told him I, I wasn't interested in watching it. Second half, he started competing, and um, I wanted to watch that one. So the first half, he had no rebounds, uh, two turnovers. Second half, he had four assists, no turnovers, and a couple rebounds. But, um, you know, the great thing about Rob, he's our best player, and I can coach him. You know, if you can't coach your best player, you have no chance. Well, as early as uh, media day when we were in uh, Philadelphia, I talked about the strength of our team is going to be our depth. You know, I don't know that our strength is – our starting five is really irrelevant. Because um, as the game goes on, I start, you know, uh, moving guys in and out. You kind of see who's playing good. You know, like I, I thought Galen was outstanding against Wake Forest, maybe not as good tonight, but Corey was outstanding tonight, so I went with Corey longer. But so, you know, last year we only had one point guard, and if G Galen wasn't um, uh, on top of his game, we had to, you know, kind of had to go with that. Uh, this year, we've got two point guards who can keep us playing fast. Um, but our, our, our depth and our ability to rebound uh, right now are two things that we're pretty good at. We've just got to keep, you know, adding layers to, to that. You know, our zones, keep working on our zone, um, keep working on ball handling, decision making. You know, we had some, um, you know, mind numbing turnovers uh, uh, tonight where you just want to cross your eyes and cross your legs and, and cross your ears. And you just say, what is that? But, um, you know, these are good kids. I enjoy coaching them. Just um, being more aggressive. You know, Fabian is not an aggressive kid by nature. So I really have to, he's one of those kids you got to get him, get him to compete, you know, and I don't, uh, you know, I don't let up on him. I, I, think, I, I think that kid's got a chance to be a great player. I do. I think he can be special. And not every kid can, but that one can. You know, and that's why I stay on him so hard. And, um, uh, you know, there's not a lot of freshmen. I don't care who you're playing against can, can get, uh, what did he have tonight? Six, 14 and 12. But, you know, the thing that uh, he does is um, um, you know, I told him to treat every shot attempt as a, as a um, every offense rebound as a shot attempt. When he gets a rebound, go score. You know, and he's getting much, much better at that. But, you know, we, we've... Um, uh, you know, we've, we're deep up front, you know, and the guy that was really playing well before he got hurt was Chris Harris. You know, you look at a game like tonight, Breon doesn't play much, but it gives me a chance to play newer extended minutes, got Val in there a little bit. I was able to move Fabian both spots to four and five, but when Chris comes back, I think that makes us better. I follow my teammates and my coach's advice just to play hard, because usually when you play hard, you get, you get good results, so that's what happened. Yeah, I do. I do. I, I see it because once I start playing hard, I, I can be I can be a good player. But if I don't, I'm, not, I'm just average, and I don't really do much. So I just gotta play hard.